will continue with the numerical sum the equivalent circuit then how to find out the, the parameter of the equivalent circuit and the, the regulation of the regulation and efficiency of the transformer we will take the another numerical that is a 200 kva single phase 3 3300 volt 400 volt transformer are the following test results that is oc and ac test results with 200 volt applied to primary and the secondary short circuited the primary current was the full load value of and the input power is 1650 watts calculate the secondary potential drop in the percent regulation when the secondary load is drawing 300 amperes at 0.707 power factor lagging with normal primary voltage okay just you have to note on the, the the data given then what he asks is calculate the secondary potential drop that is what is the drop due to the resistance and reactance and by thereby you have to find out the regulation of the transformer for 300 mps uh, the current that is a load current with a power factor of 0.707 and lagging okay then what we need is here to calculate the voltage drop what i need is the equivalent resistance of the, the secondary r02 and i know the i must know the value of the xo2 cos phi is given that is 0.7 and sin phi you can calculate from the cos phi and the load current load current is also given the basically you have to from the this test data what you have to calculate is the value of r02 and xo2 how exactly you are getting this we can see here full load primary current full load primary current how to find out the primary current it is kva divided by the corresponding value of the voltage is it not therefore what i am doing here is i1 that is a full load current rated current is rated kva multiplied by 1000 that is where kilovolt ampere is converted to volt ampere divided by v1 what is the v1 here v1 is 3300 volts therefore 200 is the rating of the transformer 200 into 1000 divided by 3300 what i am getting is the full load current of the, the primary is 60.6 amperes then short circuit current on a primary the short circuit current on the primary that is what is given is 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 equal to i1 is equal to 60.6 amperes with 200 volt applied to the primary and the secondary short circuited the primary current was the full load current what do you mean by that he is shorting the 400 volts terminal and applying the 200 volts under short circuit test gives the value in the primary that is equal to full load current of the transformer the full load current of the transformer in the primary side what i am getting is 60.6 amperes to circulate 6.6 amperes in the short circuit condition the what voltage is required is the 60 amperes what is given here already is given 200 volts is required to circulate full load current of primary that is 60.6 amperes means isc is 60.6 amperes and vsc is 200 volts then the power which is drawn under this condition is 1650 watts that is also given from this short circuit data you can find out what is ro1 xo1 and first you have to find out z1 and r1 then you can find out x01 okay that i am doing here equivalent impedance refer to the hv side because you are connecting the meters in the hv side that is the primary and shorting the secondary shorting the second therefore uh, therefore what i am getting here is the impedance first i am calculating the impedance that is z01 is the short circuit uh, injected voltage divided by the, the current is that is vs how much you are applied 200 with the rated current i1 is equal to is that is equal to 60.6 amperes what i am getting is 60.6 amperes then equivalent resistance can be 
calculated with respect to primary because we know that what is the power consumed is 1650 watts that is nothing but I1 square into RO1 that gives 1650 therefore from that you can find out what is RO1 therefore I am using the formula RO1 is equal to short circuit power that is WS divided by IS square that is IS square RO1 gives the WS thereby RO1 I will have to get it is a WS divided by I S square. Therefore, what I am getting is 0.45 ohm. This is Z O1, then R O1, then you have to find out what is X1. If you know Z O1 and R O1, X O1 can be calculated. Just it is under square root Z1 square minus R O1 square under square root. Same thing I am doing here, equivalent reactance step out to the primary side. That is Z1 square minus R O1 square, it is under square root. Therefore, what I am getting here is value is 3.269 ohm is the X1. That is, these are the equivalent resistance and reactance referred to the primary side because all the meters are connected in the HV side here, 33. Therefore, I am getting all this R1 and X1 with respect to here the primary. Okay. Now, I am interested in the what is the, the terminal voltage or the voltage drop in the, the secondary side, then I have to con transfer this R01 X01 into the secondary side. What I am interested is R02 and X02. Therefore, to convert from, to transfer from one to other things, what you need is the transformation ratio. That is the next step is what I am doing is transformation ratio. That is V2 by V1, that is 400 by 3300 that what I am getting is 4 by 33 is the transformation ratio. Then from primary to secondary if you are transforming what you have to do? You have to multiply square of the transformation to, to the, the primary quantities. Therefore R02 is equal to K square times R01. K is known, R01 is known then you can find out what is R02 that is 0 0.0061. Similarly, you can find out XO2 that is K square times XO1. Therefore, what I am getting here is 0 0.048 ohm. Then, thereby, you can calculate the what I am interested is drop. The drop is given by it is nothing but E2 minus V2 that is equal to given by I2 RO2 cos phi plus or minus I2 XO2 sin phi is the formula for voltage shock in the, the second I2 RO2 cos phi plus or minus I2 XO2 sin phi plus sin you have to take it is for lagging power factor minus for leading power factor. Here he is given for lagging power factor and secondary load current also is given. What is I2? That is I2 RO2 cos phi. I2 is given 300 amperes. Cos phi is also given 0.7 lag. The 0.7, 0.7. Uh, 0.707 is given. Then from this you can find out what is sin phi. I2 is given, cos phi is given. From the cos phi you can, can calculate the sin phi. Then you find out the value of the, the voltage of in the, the second. Therefore what I am getting here is RO2 and XO2. Then the current I2 is given, cos phi 2 is also given. From that you can find out sin phi 2 or you can find out uh, phi 2 uh, cos inverse of uh, 0 0.707 you are getting phi 2 then thereby you can calculate by sin phi. Once again here you are getting the both are same value and what I am getting then secondary potential drop what is the equation it is I2 RO2 cos phi plus I2 XO2 sin phi. I2 is come therefore I am taken outside. I2 is given as it is a 300, 300 amperes. RO2 you are calculated cos phi 2 is also known XO2 is also known, sin phi 2, just you have to substitute and you have to find out the, the value. That is the, the secondary potential drop is L1.58 volts is the total voltage drop as referred to the secondary side. This is how you have to calculate. Then voltage regulation is nothing but the voltage drop divided by the, the voltage. That is a no load voltage of the, the secondary. The no load voltage of the secondary is nothing but that is the value 
that is already you are having that value that is secondary voltage is 400 volts therefore divide by 400 that is voltage drop that is 11.58 divided by 400 that gives the regulation that is if you are multiplying 100 we are getting the percentage regulation therefore 2.895 percent is the the voltage regulation what i am getting so very simple the based on the data you will go on calculating the values then we will see the, the next numerical that is asked in the video june july 2018 that is a question paper problem here oc test data is given 396 watt 9.65 amps 120 volts short circuit test 810 watts 20.8 amps 92 volts the uh, reading of the sorry rating of the transformer what is going to 50 kV 2400 volts for 120 volts okay in which side is conducting OC and is test carefully you have to observe you have to come, come to conclusion here okay just we will see here determine the circuit constant the efficiency at full load 0.8 power factor lag the regulation at full load 0.8 power factor lagging then to calculate the efficiency what you need is the reading of the OC and SC test and the loading condition. Okay. Before that, what you ask is circuit constant. For circuit constant means it is the equivalent resistance, reactance, R0 and X0. Then how we are getting? It is from both OC and SC test. We will proceed with the full load current of the primary. Primary means here 2400 by 120 volts is the the rating of the transformer this is treated as the primary this is treated as a second okay full load primary current that is the rating of the transformer one second it is into thousand divided by v1 that is what i am getting is 20.8 amperes means it is a 20.8 amperes is a full load current what i am getting is the primary current therefore the short circuit test you can observe here reading it is 20.8 amperes is done on HV side means the short circuit the test is conducted on the high voltage side that is corresponding to primary whereas the open circuit test you can see here it is in the open circuit test you are applying the rated voltage that is 120 volts that is corresponding to the LV side that is nothing but it is a secondary side means this is connected in LV. This conduct uh, that is OC test is conducted on LV side, whereas SC test is conducted on HV side. That is quite clear from this. The I1 and 120 volts. Then we'll start. Then short circuit test is conducted on the HV side. That is in the primary. Therefore, that is primary current. IS is equal to I1 is equal to 20.8 because it's already given. So IS, I, I1 that is equal to IS short circuit current. The voltage is 92, power is 810 watts. Therefore, you calculate what is the equivalent impedance that is Z1 that is Vs by IS. Then from the I square power is equal to 810 watts. Therefore, you can find out what is RO1. RO1 is the place divided by IS square. Then what I am getting is 1.87 ohm. It is once again the similar to the, the numerical number 7 that is VSC by ISC gives the Z1 and R1 what we, how we are getting WS by IS that is 1.87. Once you know Z1 and R1 find out the value of equivalent XO1 I am calculated here XO1 is Z1 square minus R1 square that is underscored at this what I am getting is the 4 ohm then at the same time we know the transformation ratio it is 120 divided by 120 divided by 2400 that is 0.05 then what I am interested is equivalent resistance referred to the second set for calculating the regulation I want R02 and X02 therefore I am converting R01 and X01 into its secondary side that is R02 is case by times R01 what I am getting is 0 0.004680. Similarly, I am converting the reactance from primary to secondary that is XO2 is equal to K square times XO1. What I am getting here is 0 0.01 is the 
the reactance refer to the second side. Then what you have to calculate is R0 and X0. To calculate R0 and X0, you have to find out cos phi0. Then which data you have to make use of? You have to make use of the data of the open circuit test. That is 336 watt, 9.65 MPS, 120. Means this power divided by voltage into current gives the cos phi. The same thing I am using here. That is cos phi naught is equal to no load input power divided by primary voltage multiplied by primary current, no load current. Therefore, cos phi naught I am getting as 0.34. I am using the simple power equation V1 I0 cos phi0 therefore cos phi0 is equal to P0 divided by V1 into I0 same formula I am written here. Then you have to find out IW and I mu so that I have to calculate R0 and X0. IW is equal to I0 cos phi0 it is 9.65 into 0.34 that is 3.21. Then I have to find out magnetizing current. I know the value of I0, I know the value of IW, I can find out I mu is equal to under square root i naught square minus i w square. So that what I am getting here is the value is 9.07 amperes is the, the magnetizing current. Then if you note i w and i mu then you can find out what is the r naught and x naught refer to the LV side. Refer to the LV side means what? LV side is nothing but it is a second side only. Therefore r naught is equal to v1 divided by i w that is sorry that is second side it is a v2 v2 divided by iw that is 120 120 divided by 3.281 what i am getting is 36.57 here it should be here it, would, it should be 2 this is a v2 divided by iw because we are conducting on the the second side that is LV side we are con conducting the open circuit test. Okay, that is V2 divided by IW, that is 120 divided by 3.281, what I am getting is 36.57. Then similarly, we are getting here also, we can make it this as that is V2, V2 divided by IW, that is what I am getting here is also. 13.23 ohm. I am getting R0, X0, all these parameters I am getting, these are the parameters of the, the circuit constants. Then what I am doing here is I want to calculate the efficiency and efficiency formula we know. We know the loading factor X is equal to 1 full load is asked and that the power point in power factory have to calculate the efficiency. WI, iron loss you are getting 396 watts. And the copper was at full load because 8 and 10 watts is corresponding to the full load current. Therefore, if you are substituting the value in the equation, what I am getting is the efficiency. Similarly, in the case of the regulations, you are finding out I2 R02 cos phi plus I2 XO2 sin phi divided by the V2 E2 gives the, the regulation. The same thing what I am doing here. It is I2 R02 cos phi plus I2 R X O2 sin phi divided by the secondary voltage of 120 that is what I am getting is the regulation is 3.38%. This is how you have to uh, calculate the value of the constants, efficiency and regulation of the, the transform.